What's up everyone, Drew here. We're taking a look at iOS 6 panorama mode and what this will allow you to do is it'll simply give you the option to have up to 28 megapixels pictures and this is available for the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5 as well as the new iPod Touch. So this is a new feature in iOS 6 and iOS 6 will be out on Wednesday, September 19th, 2012 available for the public. This is iOS 6 Gold Master so this will be released tomorrow so do keep that in mind. So basically what Panorama will allow you to do is simply give you the option inside the camera application. So let's go ahead and go into the camera application, go underneath options, and you can see right there there is a new Panorama feature inside of your camera application. So all you just have to do is tap on the Panorama, and you can see it actually goes into the actual Panorama application, and here it is. There it says move your iPhone costly when taking a panorama so you can see the little arrow there you basically just want to move it slowly just like so and you can get a big picture of what you're taking basically a 360 degree picture so let's go ahead and start you can either hit the volume up button or you could either hit the actual camera button so we'll just take a photo of my desk here so I'll just go ahead and start that go ahead and simply drag it across now you want to be very careful you don't want to go ahead and start shaking because it will actually mess up the actual photo itself whenever you're doing this so do keep that in mind and it also tells you to slow down if you're going too fast so let's go ahead and take a look at it so you can see there I kind of messed up I will actually put this inside the video so you guys can actually see it in full person but again you definitely want to make sure you guys keep this sturdy and steady because if you don't it will actually mess up and you'll have to redo it again so let's do this one more time here just go ahead and press the start button keep the arrow moving see it's telling me to slow down you just want to slow it down just a little bit don't want to go too fast doing it again it takes some getting used to that's for sure and there we go we are done and you can see it kind of got it all chopped up and whatnot there but if you get some uh, getting used to it definitely a great feature to have on your iOS device like I said it does take some time getting used to the panorama functionality of the, the new camera application so definitely make sure you guys check this one out whenever it's available tomorrow as of Wednesday September 19th 2012 so if you guys like this video go make sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up drop all of your comments down below follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more up to date news all those links are down below in the video description until the next video guys we'll see you guys in the next one